What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the option to get rid of or abandon uh, Cadwell Silver or Cadwell's Gold. Or even if, if you have a lot of characters like I do, you may have the uh, the mission to, of course, to talk to the hooded figure, which is uh, Soul Shriven in Cold Harbor. That's kind of the main story quest. Once you complete it, of course, is when you get the uh, Cadwell Silver or Gold. And a lot of people, like I said, if you're if you're like myself and you have tons of characters, you played the game for a long time, or if you just recently started playing the game for the last five or six months, but you created multiple characters, most people aren't going to do those missions again. And those missions are some of the only missions in the game that you cannot abandon, which is very, very annoying. Uh, as you can see right now in the top right corner, uh, Cadwell Silver is pulled up uh, just in my journal because it's always there. Like I said, I can go on some of the other characters that I've power level that I have made over the years. And of course, they have the option to go uh, talk to the Hooded Figure quest. And you cannot get rid of that quest either. Even though those are the main story quests, that is the quest that, you know, that's kind of the big story arc um, for the game. Now, when the game was first released, I kind of can understand maybe why those were there because people needed the extra skill points. So once you finish the main story, you got some extra skill, skill points with Caldwell, uh, Cadwell Silver, Cadwell's Gold. Plus, to begin with, you couldn't travel to every zone, so it wasn't Tamriel one. So, you know, you only could go to the uh, zones for whatever, you know, uh, faction you were in. So, if you were in, you know, DC, uh, AD, uh, Evan Hartpack, whatever the case may be, uh, that, those were the only zones you could go in. So, once you went to, once you finished the main story and you got the option to do Cadwell's uh, Silver, Cadwell's Gold, then you could go to some of those other zones. But once Tamriel one came out, you could travel anywhere you wanted at any time. It kind of made it pointless, in my opinion, because... You could go do the zone quest anyway. You can just go find them out in the open world. And now that they have really added in a lot of things, uh, DLC-wise, lots of different ways you can get skill points, there really is no need, in my opinion, to have to do these. You can almost still get around 300 to 400 skill points with ever, without ever having to do, um, you know, going in and actually doing every one of these zone quests, you know, and the main quest, and all the story DLC quests. And finding all the sky shards. You can, there's a lot of ways you can get a lot of skill points now. So in my opinion, I think they need to do away with it. I think you need the option to abandon it. Because it is, I, I don't know, it's just something that's got on, uh, kind of got on my nerves over the last several years. Just seeing uh, Cadwell's gold, Cadwell's silver, uh, going to talk to the hooded figure. Just always having that in your journal. And of course, I have plenty of room in my journal. I've played for you know a long time, so there's not really anything ever in there. But it's just weird to me that we cannot abandon these quests when we can abandon everything else in the game from dungeons to trials to side quests to main story quest. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description. The community discord, the option, of course, to donate to the channel, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.